Hello and welcome in this new video of the AG's Way. Today I would like to present you two little tools that I've created recently to help me in my uh, everyday task in Nuke. And those are my first tool that I share with the community. So I thought it could be interesting to do a little video to present you basically the reason why I created them and how they work. So let's not waste too much time with this intro and start the video. So the first tool I would like to show is called AG's Show Outgoing Hidden Inputs. So what it does basically is exactly what the name said. <laughs> so for example, if I create here um, an input, all right, so this is just for illustration purpose. Okay, so let's say that this is a read node uh, or an input, all right, and I create here a dot that I will call uh, sender. So sender or outgoing uh, link, basically, uh, like this. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger so we're going to see it better. All right. And I create here a receiver. All right. Receiver. And I can call that also incoming link, all right, with a hidden input, okay? If I take this one and this one and I link them together, as you can see, I can see from the incoming link or from the receiver, but I can't see the link from the sender or from the outgoing uh, link, all right? Which can be a little bit annoying. Let's say, for example, that we have multiple inputs like this, for example, four of them, and multiple receiver, like this. And I multiplicate them a bunch of time, all right? And uh, those are basically uh, scattered everywhere in your script. So now, for example, all these are taking this one. All these here are taking this one. Uh, maybe this and those, uh, this one is already selected, so, and those, um, like this, sorry. Okay, and uh, this last one is taken, uh, yeah, this one is still free, okay, so do those, uh, like this, sorry. Right, okay, so everything is connected right now, but it's impossible to know uh, where this is sent. The only way here to kind of follow where it's going is to select everything. For example, with Ctrl A, and now you can see all the hidden inputs. But if you want to follow one specific link from this input, for example, as you can see, it starts to be very confusing and quite difficult to follow until the receiver. Imagine now that the script is triple this size and you have more inputs and more receiver, it's getting very difficult and almost impossible to follow everything. So my little tool helps you to show only the outgoing links by selecting the sender and pressing the hotkey, which is by default Alt 2, and then you can see only the links that are sent from the sender. For example, if we select this one and press Alt plus 2, you can see only this one or Alt plus 2, only this one. The reason that motivates me to create this little tool was because I had to take over a new comp from other compositors that were working with this logic. So basically they were putting all the inputs on the top of their uh, comp and then they were sending the information everywhere in the script with hidden inputs. So you can easily understand that it has become very difficult for me very quickly to understand where all these were going basically in the script. And I, I was saying, yeah, why the Foundry didn't put a default option to see the outgoing hidden inputs? So if you are from the Foundry, this could be a really nice addition for the next version of Nuke. Think about that. <laughs> Anyway, this is the reason why I created this tool. It's pretty simple and easy to use. I don't have anything else to say. So we can move to the second tool I want to show you. This tool is called AG Traceback. And basically it puts an anchor somewhere 
and then it allows you to go back from anywhere in your script to this anchor by simply pressing a hotkey. Some of you might say, yeah, but this is exactly what a bookmark does. And you're right, but with my little tool you can do that in an easier and faster way. Let me show you. For those who have seen my previous video talking about organization, and by that I mean these ones here, know that I like to work with shuffles. Basically, I like to create a little setup, shuffle it in the pipe, and then I can shuffle it out several times anywhere in my comp. So, to quickly illustrate what I've just said, let me create here a main pipe with just a dot that I will call main pipe. Make it big so we can see it easily. And also an output. Like this, connect both of them. And put the main output somewhere down here, alright? And let's start. Alright, let's get disconnected. No worries. Let's do this like that. Okay, so here I have my main pipe. Now I'm gonna create my little setup. So I'm gonna create a constant. It's just uh, for the illustration. So uh, let's imagine that this is a read note. Um, I'm gonna do a garbage mat out of it. So I'm gonna need a key here. Here. Uh, also, I'm gonna use a little roto, which I'm gonna merge with the channel merge with the operation multiply. Something like this, alright? And in between I'm gonna put a little grade and all of this wrapped into a backdrop that I call garbage mat01. Okay? So here I have my little setup. And this setup, since it's just an alpha, I'm gonna shuffle it in the main pipe with just a copy node. So I'm gonna press K to create a copy node plug the A input in my little setup and the B input in my main pipe. Here I'm going to create a new layer that I will call garbage mat underscore zero one dot alpha. And yes, I want to create a new layer. I'm going to also create a second setup. So this time, let's say that it's going to be for a, a paint job, so uh, let's create a paint node, a roto paint node, and uh, maybe a second one with uh, I don't know, maybe a blur and also uh, a grade. All right, so let's say that this is my little paint setup. Uh, paint, I'm gonna call that just paint, like this, and this time I'm gonna use a shuffle node. I'm gonna plug the B input in the main pipe and then now I have this little arrow which is the A input and I'm gonna plug it to my little setup, all right? Here, I'm gonna use the RGBA and I'm gonna send it to a new uh, layer this time that I will call paint, for example. I click on auto RGBA so it creates all the channel and okay. Now I'm ready to come. So let's go a little bit further in our comp and I'm gonna shuffle out my uh, paint setup. So I'm gonna plug the B input like this and here I'm gonna call the uh, paint, all right, which is here. Also, I'm gonna need my uh, little garbage mat. So I'm gonna plug this also and here I'm gonna call the garbage mat and I'm gonna use only the alpha so I can do something like that. The very last thing I can do is just create here a TCL expression called knob in one so I can see what is here, all right? So as you can see here, the, ne the name of the knob is in one. Here I put this and dynamically it will write the name of the input. So I'll do my little thing. So for example, I'm gonna channel merge uh, the garbage mat with the union, for example, or maybe it's gonna be more uh, correct to use a multiply. Uh, in my paint, I'm gonna do, I don't know, maybe a grade. Uh, what else can I do? Uh, let's say that I'm gonna put uh, 
a defocus node, for example, uh, like this. And in the end, I'm gonna premult everything, and I merge the result over my main pipe, right? So this is my little job. Now I have my example completed, and I can explain the problem. Somebody else had to take over my comp because I was sick or maybe I have been assigned to something else but this new person doesn't know what I did and what he or she can see is that I have here a shuffle with the paint and a shuffle with the garbage mat. This person has to make a change on this but it doesn't know where it's coming from. So here in my little example the comp is pretty simple but imagine a very big comp with a lot of nodes everywhere how this person can know where this shuffle is coming from. It's gonna be very hard to trace back. Even for yourself, if you open this comp like several weeks later or even several months later, it's gonna be very difficult to remember where the little setup is stored in the comp. This is exactly the reason why I created this little tool. It's to trace back the origin of the setup. Let me show you how it works. First, we go to our setup, which is here. Then, you select the node that you like, for example here is just to help the creation of the anchor and you press the hotkey which is by default ALT plus 1. Here you enter the name of the anchor. So this is the garbage mat, so I'm gonna call it uh, garbage uh, mat underscore 01 and press OK. As you can see it creates a postage stamp, alright? Remember this, I'm going to come back to it a little bit later. So this is our anchor, all right? Then you select the anchor and press again the same hotkey. This tool works with the same hotkey for every step. So I'm going to press again Alt plus 1 and this time it creates the receiver. So now you can disconnect it or what I usually do, I cut it pressing uh, Ctrl X, all right? So now I can go here. And it was the garbage mat, so I can paste it after the shuffle. Like this. Let me make a bit of room here so we can see it better. Alright. And our first anchor is set. You can see that the receiver has a prefix called IN. And our anchor has a prefix called OUT. This is because in my head, from the anchor, the setup goes OUT. And from the receiver, the setup goes in. So this is why I put an in in the receiver and an out in the anchor. Now I'm going to repeat all the same steps for the second setup, which is the paint. So here I'm selecting the uh, last node. Press the hotkey, which is Alt plus 1. Call it paint. Press OK. Once again, I select uh, the anchor and press Alt plus 1. I cut the dot, come here, and I'm gonna uh, paste the receiver here, okay? There you go. Now from here, if I want to go back to the anchor, I just have to select the receiver and once again press the same hotkey, which is still Alt plus 1. And it brings me back to the anchor of the garbage mat. If I do the same with the paint, select the receiver, press Alt plus 1, and as you can see, I go back to the paint setup. This is, in my opinion, a simple way to create an anchor and quickly go back from anywhere in the comp. Now, I told you to remember that the anchor was a postage stamp, alright? You can see it here. This is because you might share your comp to somebody who doesn't have my tool, but he can still make it work with the bookmark. As you can see, the postage stamp has the bookmark option, which is not the case for no hope or for the dot. You see, you don't have this option here. So this is why I create the anchor with the postage stamp. So how does it work without my tool and using only the bookmark? Well, we can go here and we have the receiver that is called in garbage mat. You can press J, which is the um, default hotkey for the bookmark. And as you can see here in the list, you can find the out garbage mat or paint. So here I'm going to use the garbage mat. 
and I'm back to the anchor. I can do the same with the other one. So I press J, I found the paint or I can type the paint and add and out. So I'm sure there is only this one left. Click here and I'm back to the paint setup. All right, so those were the two first tools that I share with the community. So I hope you're gonna like it and find it useful. And if you are interested, I might share others in the future. In the meantime, you can find them on my website, agaudiano.com, here in Tools and Assets, and it will redirect you to my Gumroad uh, page, and you can find them here, or if you go a little bit lower, here in the Tools section. Both come with proper uh, informations here. And also you're going to receive a um, menu.py file in which you can change, if you like, the default hotkey. All right, this time it wasn't really a tutorial, but more a presentation of this uh, new tool. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comment what did you think about it, and I'll see you the next time. Thank you very much for watching. Just before leaving you, I would like to give you an information. This course is 100% free and I'm not paid for it. I really made it with the desire to share knowledge with you. But if you like to reward or support the job I've done, you can give me a tip by following the PayPal link in the description. Once again, thank you very much and see you soon.